Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. Where in this episode we are starting exactly from where we left off in the last episode. We have just been in the nether and my inventory is full of stuff. Um, I need to get rid of some things here because it's, it's a lot in my inventory right now. So yeah, what should I do with it? In today's episode, we are gonna make a brewing station for us to brew. It just It's just gonna be a little corner here where we can brew our potions. But in the future, I am planning maybe on expanding this direction and making brewing machines and stuff like that with redstone. So let's get into it. So first things first, I need to get rid of some of this stuff so we can actually work. <laughs> because right now, my inventory is full. Let's just get the sword away. You know what, can these be placed on? Yes, they can. Okay, that looks creepy, but I'm gonna put it there for now. Um, all this is brewing stuff. Let me just put the gold over here. There we go. And the blaze rod is thing as well. I should have kept the brown mushrooms because we need that in potions as well. Um, okay, also we need to make another wood farm. Let's see what we can, if I, if there's time, I'll try and do both. But if not, well, we'll save that. Um, chests, put those here. Um, horse are my in saddles, I guess can go here, yeah. Together with all the others. There we go, we have plenty of horse armors. So I don't think I'll ever need this many. And we also have a bunch of saddles. So let's just fill those in right here. I doubt I'll be needing more than that. Um, we could use some torches. I don't think I'll need this flint steel anytime soon. The compass is just good to have. Do we have any more stone? Yes, I'll have some cobblestone on me. And any wood? Um, I like having a stack or something oak wood on me. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. Just need a few torches. You know what? I'll leave this shovel here for now. <laughs> It's just annoying. Um, this is brewing material as well. The iron goes in the iron chest. Okay. I think we are sorted now to begin. And I think I'm going to be able to make both brewing stand and also another wood farm. Because I don't think this is going to take too long to make, to be honest. Um, in fact, I am just thinking of something very simple to do. Uh, let's see, we need one for ingredients and one for potions. All right. I guess we should use the door one so when we actually have it. So I'm thinking just upside stairs like this could look pretty pretty cool. Just add two more here and then a brewing stand in the corner, for example. Leave a chest maybe here with potions and maybe a chest over here with like ingredients. I could put it here as well because then the brewing stand could be there. Yeah, I think this could work, actually. Actually, this may turn out way quicker than I had expected. <laughs> let us um, let us make some stairs and let us do that. I will not be needing that. I'll keep both of them, just in case. All four of them, just in case. Okay, so I guess, yes, this kind of splits the room in two. So this over here, potions. This over here, enchantment. Okay, perfect. Um... This kind of looks stupid in my opinion. Let's remove that and just add that. Yeah, that should work. And I kind of want this in the center. Again, I may expand in this direction and make a brewing, potion brewing machine redstone thingy. So let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see that done. Um, okay, I think now what I need to do is if I remember the recipe correctly. Actually, I think it's just cobblestone and yep. It couldn't be more simpler. Couldn't be simpler. <laughs> okay, so do that. And let's put all our ingredients in here though. I think I'll take at least 16 of that. And also we need to put some fuel in this thing just so it's there. So Blaze rod, blaze powder, put that in there, not like that, in here, there we go. Um, 
let's put the birch stairs away there we go uh, put those down there yep and yeah let's go and actually make this farm i think i think i'm gonna keep that simple as well all right so here we are at the farm i have not yet gathered the pumpkin seeds nor the melon seeds i guess we can do that in this episode as well but for right now oh man i wish i would have moved this one out anyways um how much is this wait i don't have pickaxe on me why don't i have pickaxe <laughs> Must have used it all up in the nether. Um, okay, let me just make a pickaxe then. All right, this old one will do. I just need one to make a two by eight area, really. So I was just gonna thinking do it like this: one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, is that a bug? No sounds. Okay, now, now. It, Brokey. I think maybe there's some bugs here. I don't know. This is one of the reasons why you should carry a bunch of cobblestone so you can always... Wait, have I some sounds turned off? Oh, it was... How does that go under friendly creatures? Okay. You know what? I'm not going to ask questions. Let us add soul sand. There we go. Just like that, and nether ward. I'm not putting a fence around it because it's not really needed. You can't jump on it to to break it, so that's pretty cool right there. Um, it's, I guess I could extend the fence. I guess I will. Let's just go down and get... Where did I get my... F where did that come from? I'm so confused. Um, okay. I'm not sure how that got there. I don't think I took that. And I definitely didn't craft one. Wait, how did that... How did it get there? I only crafted one. I have never crafted... Okay, that's... Creepy in a way. <laughs> um, okay then. And I gotta clear out this cave as well. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay then. Uh, episode for mysterious things. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, let's make a bit of fence. Um, I need eight, so I need. Oh, that's not the right recipe. That is not the right recipe. I need eight on one side and then eight on another. So like that should work yep right on let us get that in there that belongs in there okay oh i already had four okay well anyways now we have some extra <laughs> so let's put get up and put this i have no idea how that flint and steel got there i did not craft that oh get up hmm i don't know what happened anyways let us put some fence over here. I guess just to make it safer as well for us. Um, I guess maybe we should use a fence gate. But I guess we can access it through that farm. Wait, did I not put a fence there? I never... Okay, there we go. <laughs> there was the fence gate. Okay. I was slightly confused there. Let's put it right here, in fact. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna cut through this, cut through this, and cut through this as well. Let me just get four, fen three, sorry, three fence gates. And also sleep. All right, I got my three fence gates. Hopefully there won't be a creeper up here. No, good. <laughs> okay, let us put one here here and here nope <laughs> not there there okay good so now we can access things without a problem i remember in the old old days nether wart would be farmed in the actual nether it could not grow up here okay so that is kind of that done i do want to 
brew some potions today. But let me just go back to the desert village with the temple and get those seeds just so I can complete that project. Um, yeah, and then I'll be then I'll be back and then we can craft some potions, maybe some I think mainly I want some fire resistance potions, maybe. And yeah, that should that should work. So let me just get over there. I haven't traveled this um, this way for quite a bit actually. So let me get over there, take the stuff, and actually I should probably I should probably one day make a another tunnel over there and make a portal in the desert temple, just so I can get back and forth easily. Also because that is ocean over there. So that is something to consider. And there is one of the villages. Anyways, let me get over there and I'll be right back. Oh man, I forgot how long this journey is. <laughs> I actually forgot how long this journey is. And you know what, I'll take this sign. But yeah, I guess another thing I could do would be to get a, get a horse or a donkey that is fast. That could speed up the, um, the travel time a lot as well. I'm just taking this coal because I think I might need some more coal. I do feel like I want to go down caving again soon, so let me know down in the comments below what you would like me to do next. Um, I know one thing would be to, well, do more mining, upgrade all my tools, make bookshelves, get some, get full diamond equipment, and yeah, do that stuff. And also hunt some with the skeletons for with the skeleton skulls and make the wither, go to the end and all that good stuff. So let me know down in the comments what you think I should do next. I think the other village is over here somewhere. <laughs> it's quite a journey. Hopefully they have some food for me when I get there. And here we are with the Great Wall. <laughs> okay, even though I can just go right around it. Okay, you know what? That that felt wrong. That felt wrong. Should go through doors. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I should make a nether portal thing. Okay. Where's everybody at? Okay, I see two of them. Okay, everyone's here. Good. I was like, wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened while I was away? All right. Yes, this is my home away from home oh i have a lot of stuff here okay you know what i'm gonna grab it all i can use all of it um the coal yes pumpkin seeds melon seeds detector rails i'll take that as well golden apple the enchanted golden apple amazing respiration protection okay one gold ingot 60 spring i'll take that as well um you know what, I'll take the sand and the cobblestone slab and the gravel and the diorite and that as well. Why not? Um, I don't think there's anything else I would want from here. Um, except from borrowing some of their wheat. Um, I have to put that down for a second. I will replant it though. I will replant it all. So do that. But I could do some with some more wheat. And frankly, also some more potatoes because I don't have enough for my farm. So, yeah, I think I might get some extra potatoes on the farm way. You want? Let me just put this back. I don't need to die right over there on the side. So let's do that. Smack the door in his face, and get some, get a field of potatoes or so. Maybe two. I think this strip here would do. I think this should be fine. Yeah, 20, that should be good. All right. So now it's the journey back. I think I'll speed this one up as a time-lapse thing. So see ya on the other side.
Okay. I'm not sure if I've seen this before. <laughs> um, huh. That's interesting. You know what? We might explore that next time. I don't know. But, um, phew, that was a journey. I also saw some roofed forest over there that I think I actually do want to explore more of that, of that place because I want to find a woodland mansion. I have never found one before, I don't think. Not in a survival list play or in a survival world anyway, so yeah. That is something I really want to find as well. Perhaps even find a villager, a librarian, that has a map to find one. That would be amazing. Because you can get that, it just takes a lot of trading and stuff. It takes a lot of work, but um, yeah, we should be good. So let's get back in the base, empty this inventory, and make a couple of potions to help us in the future. I can think of already at least fire resistance and speed potions that can help us, um, especially with traveling back and forth places. So... Let's make some of those. In fact, let me just take some of these over here. Oh, I'll take that. Um, yeah, let me harvest this sugar cane that I planted all the way from, I think, episode one or two. All right, 18, that should do. We'll make that into sugar. And we can use that for making speed potions. All right. Also, I'll need a bit of redstone. So actually, not too bad we got some. Because I need some redstone for this um, potion making things. Not for making a machine, but for making the mechanics. Okay, so that there, keep that there. Oh, yeah, I was going to plant all that. Yeah, I might do that in the next episode. But now we have it anyways. Let me just get rid of all this junk and I'll be right back. All right, I think we're ready. Let me just put this redstone in here. Don't worry about this. Um, actually, I just remembered. I'm now really happy that I got this sand because I need to make a lot of bottles. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and smelt this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and smelt that. Should be no problem. Let that run for a little bit. Let's make some sugar in the meanwhile and get that over here as well. So you know what? I'm going to organize this a little bit. Um, that and then ingredients here. So the, actually, the opposite. There we go. So up here will be all the ingredients. Up here, down here will be the modifiers and down here will be the base stuff such as water bottles as well. Um, speaking of water bottles, I will need to get some, some water, a yeah, water place down here somewhere. Um, you know that right there could work. Yeah, if I just, I don't know if the water will flood beneath that because of 1.13. So let's just, let's be on the safe side. Let's get rid of this this and to make it pretty get rid of that we can do that and we can do that and then i just need two more planks which i believe i have okay i have plenty let us get that down here and down here and let us get rid of that as well put one there and then put my bucket right there that should work it looks a little bit strange but it's fine that's all we need a little water source for our bottles to get refilled all right the glass should be done in any moment you're done um pretty soon okay so now i can make oh, <laughs> i've got how to make make bottles for a moment there we go plenty of bottles we can make i won't make all of fill all of them with water but i'll fill some of them which i know i need now so let's fill three of them put three of them in there get some nether wart this is old school potion brewing right here and let's make some awkward potions which is needed for most potions as the base start so let's make that mm, there we go more stuff put that up here up here up here there we go 
I think they might all be done. Yes, all of them are done. Let's just get that with us. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. So these are now awkward potions. If I take some sugar and put that down there, that'll make them into speed potions. Now what I then want is I want it to be eight minutes, which then will be redstone added on them. So that's pretty cool right there. I'll put those there for now. All right. And in any moment, we should have speed potions. Now I want to add some redstone just to make it longer because currently there's just three minutes. Redstone will make it longer. I think I might add a second um, brewing stand right here just to make the process a little bit faster. Let me just make a crafting table because then I can brew multiple stuff at once. So let me put a crafting table right here and do that. It's done. Add another brewing stand just like that. I could add it here, but eh, it's fine. Okay, so now we have potions advancement made. Let's take a look at the advancements, in fact. Ooh. Okay, so we just, I think we completed, yeah, local brewery. So, have every potion effect applied at the same time. That's going to be a hard one. Um, use the nether. We might do that, I don't know. Rescue a gas from the nether. Yeah, might not do that. Withering heights, summon the wither. We will definitely do that, hopefully soon. And construct and place a beacon. We still have a lot of stuff to complete here, as you can see. Um, we also have a underwater temple, which reminds me. Um, I do not have any puffer fish, do I? I think in the next episode, what we are gonna do is hit on over. I think it was. Uh, where was it? I think it was in that direction, yeah, that we found the ice, ice spikes. Not the ice spikes biome, but the frozen ocean, I think, was where the ocean monument is. We'll do, we'll make a little fish hut, I think. We'll do some fishing. And then we will get, hopefully, some puffer fish. Where then we will be able to make some underwater breathing potions. We'll then um, hit on a mining trip to get some more diamonds, get suited up. And then we'll be able to, hopefully soon, take on the um, ocean monument. So let's have that as a plan. Maybe in the next episode we'll go mining because I really want to do some mining. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Let me know down in the comments what you think we should do first. Mining or fishing? I guess we could do some fishing after all that nether experience. <laughs> so yeah. Also, I think I could do with some more diamonds. Yeah, I could do with some more diamonds to get some f a full armor set. Okay, so that's upper potions. Let's make fire resistance. And let's make some strength potions as well. Because why not? Uh, that will not do anything. Blaze powder. There we go. That does strength. Magma cream does fire resistance. Guest here, I believe, either gives instant health or regeneration. Which both of them are pretty cool. And then let's get some redstone. There we go. Just for when we get into the nether again. And we want to get some wither skeletons. The strength and the fire resistance will be useful. And also the speed as well. So that's pretty cool. I might make a few extra speed parts in fact. Just to be able to get around quicker so if we are gonna fish in the next episode i will be able to get there fast all right let us put these here just like that these are probably the three main potions that i use um also a few times instant health and maybe also regeneration if in battle with something like the wither or the ender dragon not the wither much but mainly the ender dragon all right so with that done and said i hope you enjoyed if you did remember to leave a like comment and share with your friends and if you are new to the channel 
remember to subscribe. Also remember to join my new public Discord server, link down below. Follow me on Twitch because I am streaming on there, um, or beginning to anyway. So be sure to follow me on there and also follow me on Twitter as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Remember to leave feedback down in the comments. Hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.